everyone, this tutorial will teach you how I created my live setup. You will learn how to set up the actual stream, how to create scenes, how to add a PNG tuber, how to stream mobile games and how to add a voice changer. The devices needed will be a laptop which is mandatory, any mobile device and another mobile device to watch this video, as well as headphones for the voice field. If you check the link in the description, there will be a link to the OBS downloads. Tap download installer and then wait for the file to download. Once it is installed, tap open file. Make sure to allow it to make changes to your device. Tap next. Tap next and then start the install. Tap finish and then wait a few seconds for OBS to automatically open. When your OBS opens, you won't have all the images that I have as I insert them myself. Yours should look like this. Now I will explain what and where everything is and how it works. This is the scene section. This allows you to swap between live stream screens. This is the sources section. This allows you to insert images, videos, etc. into your scenes. This is the scene transition section. This section is pretty simple. By changing this, it changes the way the transition between scenes look. This is the audio mixer. Using this, you can change the audio of any media, mic or anything else that produces sound. Now that you know how OBS works, create two new scenes. Name the first scene, Intermission. Name the second scene, Starting Soon. Then, take your mobile device and open your preferred drawing slash art app and create a project with these dimensions. For the starting soon and intermission screens, first create or choose a background. Here are some ideas I found on Pinterest. Then, make sure you are on another layer and create text that says starting soon. Then, go on layers and save the starting soon text as a transparent layer then hide it and save the image. Then, open any app with keyframes and create a simple up and down animation with the text. A few examples of apps that can be used to do this are Kind Master, A Light Motion and CapCut. If you do not know how to animate, you can use this for free. You can screen record them or download them using the link in the description. Then, upload the videos to Google Drive. This will be how you'll get them from your mobile device to your laptop. Then, open Google Drive on your laptop and tap the three dots in the top right corner of the video. Tap download. And do the same thing to the other video. Then open the video file. Tap the three dots in the bottom right corner. Tap properties and then tap open file location. Then, put the video in a file, in a folder, in some way you'll definitely remember. Repeat this process with the other video. Then, open OBS again. Tap the intermission scene, then go to sources and tap the plus. Select media, media source. <laughs> tap OK. Tap browse. Find the file with the videos and select the I'll be back video. Select loop and tap OK. Selecting loop is very important. Do the same thing, but with the other video. Don't forget to select loop. Then, go back onto your mobile device and go onto your editing app from earlier. Remember to use these dimensions. This will be for your main stream where you can show your mobile screen. Here is a free template. 
feel free to screenshot it and if you cannot there will be a link to download it in the description. Once again save this to drive. There, tap the dots in the top right corner again, tap download and download the image. Open the file and this time unlike before, tap the dots at the top, then tap save as. Then find the file, I mean folder, that you saved the others in and save it in there. Open OBS again and then go into sources and tap the plus like earlier. Find images and tap it. Like before, tap OK and then browse. Find the image and tap open. Tap OK. To be able to stream your mobile screen, install the Prism Live streaming app on mobile. Also download Prism Live Studio on laptop. Link to the website is in the description. Then, tap open file and install it. Tap install. I tried to reinstall it for the tutorial but I could not install it twice, sorry. When you open Prism Live it should automatically be set to webcam. If you tap this at the top, you can tap Prism, connect Prism Mobile meaning you can connect your mobile device by scanning the QR code. Scanning the QR code in normal photos will not connect you to Prism Life on laptop. Make sure to go into the Prism Life app and tap connect. When you scan the QR code this will come up. Tap screen then connect. Make sure your microphone is off then tap start broadcast. After you do this, everything that happens on your mobile screen will come up on your laptop. Then make sure you are on a scene with this background and then tap the plus on sources. Go down and create a new video capture device. Go to device and tap Prism Lens 1. Tap OK and then resize it so that it fits the background. Since I'm a Gacha tuber, for my PNG tuber I'll be using Gacha. If you're doing Gacha or if you aren't doing Gacha, take two images of your OC. One with its mouth open or one with its mouth go closed. <laughs> if you're not a Gacha tuber, feel free to draw yours instead. If you're a gacha tuber, or if you aren't a gacha tuber and your background is green for some reason, remove the green background and make sure both of the images, one of the mouth open and one of the mouth closed, are both transparent PNGs. Once again, insert these images to Google Drive. Download both of these images just like before. Then open the file. Tap the three dots and click save as. Save it to a folder that you'll definitely remember where it is. Then repeat this process for the other image. Go on the VidaTube Mini website. There is a link to this in the description of my video. Tap download now. Tap no thanks just take me to the download so you don't have to pay for anything. Tap the Windows download, or whatever laptop you're on. Tap Consent. Wait for the download. When it finishes downloading, click the file, tap VidaTube Mini, Extract All, and then tap the finished game. When you open VidaTube Mini, it should look like this. If you tap the image in the top right corner, and then tap these icons, and tap Remove Image. Then, if you tap the icon again, and find your folder with your images. Since we only took two earlier, which is an image with the mouth closed and the eyes open, 
and the mouth open and the eyes open, we won't add any blinking images. Put the correct image to match with the correct icon. Beep, 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 beep. Hi. Hi. Oh. Okay. If you tap this icon, you can decide how they move and at what time. I almost forgot to mention, if you tap this icon, it will let you change the colour of the background. Make sure you set it to green. If you slide your mouse off the background and onto the bottom of the screen, it will show just the green screen background. To actually insert the character into OBS, tap the plus button and then game capture. Tap OK and then tap capture specific window. Select window and then select via the tube mini. Tap filters. Go down to effect filters and tap the plus. Tap chroma key and tap OK. Resize it so that it fits into the corner, just underneath the chat. Or if you have it laid out differently, put it where you want it to. Open the Stream Elements website. There is a link to it in the description. Tap Streaming Tools, then tap Overlays. Tap New Overlay. Tap Start. Tap Add Widget. Then go down to Stream Tools and tap your Streams Chat. You can resize it how you'd like. Where it says Dark ta Chat, <laughs> tap it and then select Custom. I prefer this so then there's a clear background. Tap Save. And sadly it won't let you save it if it's nameless, so name it something random. Then tap the link icon, the paper clip icon. And then go back to OBS, tap the plus. Select Browser. Then paste the link in the URL section. You can resize and adjust the placement on the stream. showing you how to add your most recent subscriber account on the stream. Tap start again, tap add widget and go up to labels. Select subscribers then go to latest. Then tap either your latest or your most recent subscribers, whatever you prefer. Then you can drag it down and you can change the size of it. You can tap save and once again name it. Then click the bookmark. Then just like before, tap the plus. Go to browser. And then paste the link just like the last one. Plug in the headphone. Click settings. Then go to audio. Go to mic artillery audio and select the headphones. Tap OK. Tap the three dots next to your newly added sound. Tap advanced audio properties and then select monitor off and set it to monitor and output. Now you should be able to hear your voice stall Auburn Sounds Gorillion 2. There's a link to it in the description. I'm a bit too lazy to explain, so if you just follow what it says on the screen, I'd appreciate that. Tap the three dot next to the mic and then tap filters. Go down and tap the plus. Tap VST times two times plugin. Tap OK. Go up to please select a plugin and select Auburn Sounds Gorillion 2. 
Before you tap close, tap open plugin interface. If it disappears, then tap the OBS icon at the bottom and then it should come up again. To summarize the voice filter, if you move this wheel to the right, it will make your voice higher. And if you move the wheel to the left, it will make your voice lower. I really hope my tutorial helped at least one person. I'd really appreciate a subscribe if it did. Have a lovely day.